In my last video, I told you that I was getting better at photography. In this video, I'm going to put my money where my mouth is. Um, but I promise you, it's not going to be boring. Because um, remember the sculptures I was showing you? A lot of people said that you wanted to see me make one. So we're going to do that first. And then take a picture of it. So yeah, stick with me. I promise it's going to be more fun than it sounds. Anyone who knows me knows that I am a massive fan of the Legend of Zelda series. That much is uh, pretty obvious. And The Wind Waker was one of uh, the earlier games that I played in the series. And I always loved Link's boat. I love the idea of, the idea of uh, sailing around on the sea. With that in mind, I think it's pretty obvious we're going to be building this boat in today's, uh, today's video. He's called the King of Red Lions. Probably something to do with the fact that he is red and his face looks like a lion. It was a central part of the game, you had to uh, sail around on the ship and you actually got to sail it around. This uh, video, the tutorial, I actually followed a guy called Studson Studio on YouTube. Uh, his video was awesome and I definitely recommend you go check it out if you're uh, interested in crafts and want to try it yourself. To begin, I started off by cutting out on some uh, cardboard just the basic shapes of the side of the ship. I know they don't look like much right now but uh, you've got the two sides there, and that's the back of the boat as well. You want to be careful when you're handling a uh, scalpel though, so if you've not got a scalpel, scissors should do just fine. I uh, used a hot glue gun to kind of glue them uh, the pieces together. It had to kind of bend the sides of the ship around the back. It wasn't easy, but I got there in the end. And then this was a, uh, <coughs> a salad box, which I uh, used for this part, and that was actually to make the wooden planks of the ship. Obviously, we don't want a boat made out of cardboard, so I used the foam to make the planks, which I then covered the side of the ship around, as you can see right there. So the next thing I had to do was make the inside of the ship, which I wanted to actually make out of wood, so I used these, uh, well, they're lollipop sticks, but they're actually specifically for crafts. It was a painstaking effort because I had to use my, uh, my little pliers there to cut the rounded ends off of each one and glue them into place like that to make a sort of a ship decking, which you can see from the inside of the hull there, it wasn't the most neat towards the front, but for the purpose of the picture, you're not going to see it anyway, so it doesn't matter too much, and it was more for my own peace of mind. I wanted to make it look as cool as I possibly could. The mast was... Uh interesting to make. The uh, the foam that I used before to make the planks, I glued three strips together to make it the right thickness and then used my, uh, my little scalpel tool from earlier to carve it into a more rounded shape. That's actually a piece of cardboard up on top there. And the sail was an old dishcloth. <laughs> um, it's an old dishcloth that we, uh, that we had lying around so I cut it into a triangle and used it in the sail. I've not stuck the sail down yet. You might also be able to see there as well that I've started to sculpt something onto the front of the ship, so I'll get back to that later. It's just a closer look, of, uh, closer look at the sail at the moment though. There was literally just cardboard holding it in place and super glue. But yeah, this is how the boat's looking so far. It's starting to get that uh, iconic looking head on the front as well, which I was really happy with. Um, and I think you can probably tell I was quite happy with the sail as well, judging by how much I won't leave it alone. <laughs> And that is where I left it for the night. So the next day I, uh, I came around to painting it. So as you can see there, I've done the uh, the red on the bottom. I've left a gap to do the white stripe on top of the ship. It kind of looks white already, but uh, as you can see here, I was just going over it to, with an actual white paint, just because I really wanted to get it a nice crisp looking white color. You might be able to notice as well there in the background, I've actually already started on the sail. I apparently suck at making videos and forgot to film myself doing the sail. But here it all is put together. And at this point in time, I was really happy with how it was looking. Like, I could have just left it there and had a really cool looking boat, which I was really happy with. Just another close-up of the sail because I thought that deserved some love. Do that freehand. And now we come to something a bit more somber, I'm afraid. You know that head that I sculpted? Well, it was made out of air drying clay. It came down the next morning. It had fallen over in the night and broken, and my heart broke with it. <laughs> um, so yeah, I was really gutted about that. But rather than try to rebuild it, I thought I would use this video as an excuse to work on my photoshopping skills, which we'll get around to later. 
For now, I'm actually doing a wash on the boat, which is ironic because it actually makes the boat look more dirty. All I did was mix a little bit of black paint with a lot of water, and then I also put some dish soap in there just so that the entire thing would run a lot smoother. Shook it up a little bit, and it was just a case of slavering that mixture across the entire boat, only to get it all in those little cracks there so that they'd show up all the details of uh, you know, the little cracks in between the planks of wood and whatnot. So this is just to make the boat look more old and used rather than you know something that I'd made in my living room. I wanted it to look like something that had actually been sailing around on the seas. So that's what I'm doing now, just wiping off the excess. Put the sail back in. I have no idea why I did this, but I thought it looked cool. And before we could go take the picture, I actually had some uni work to do that day, so uh, yeah. Wish it went this fast in real life, not gonna lie. So here we have the finished ship. I didn't actually glue the sail down, um, as you'll see in a second. And there's a very specific reason for this, because when I was going to take the picture, I knew I was going to go down to the river. And I didn't want the boat to break in my bag, and I thought the sail was the most likely bit to uh, to snap. So I purposefully didn't glue it down so I could put it in this Tupperware box. That way I could safely get it to the river without worrying about it breaking. Got everything we need? Cool. Alright, I'll see you when we get there. Okay, so that's where I'm going to take the picture of the boat. Um, Wish me luck. making a sculpture and then going to photograph it and yes I do normally take that long <laughs> doing the pictures I'm a bit of a perfectionist with them but I hope you like it I will leave the picture at the end if you feel so inclined you can screenshot it you don't have to I won't be offended but yeah thank you for watching and now I'm gonna go do some sort of montage so to edit the picture, I brought it into Photoshop and cropped it to a 10 by 8 ratio. That's just the ratio that I do all my pictures at. I don't know why, I just think it's a decent size. I messed around with the colour correction first just to make it a little bit brighter, make all the colours pop that little bit more, which to do that I just pressed Command L and that brought up the levels as it were, and then you just drag the sliders until you're happy with how it looks. Now to fix the head. Obviously I didn't end up sculpting the head again because it was just too much pain and effort. So I borrowed a picture of the King of Red Lions off the internet. I think this is a first four figures uh, King of Red Lions diorama that they actually sell. It's a picture that someone took and it doesn't line up perfectly, the angle, but the head on it is close enough to the same angle of my boat. So all I did was drop the opacity of that picture so I could line it up to where my boat was and then it was pretty much just a case of cutting out the background and deleting it so that you only had the head and not the background. Kind of self-explanatory now that I uh, think of it back. This actually took ages, like I'm not even going to lie, I've sped up the footage quite a fair bit and even still you can see how long it's taken. Um, in fact, from my computer, this, the footage is sped up to 937%. There we go. That's how long uh, it took. But, once you've cut it all out, that's the kind of thing that you get. And I was really happy with that. 
but there was still one thing which I forgot to do on a previous picture and it haunts me to this day so I definitely make sure to do it now and that is the reflections. To do that you duplicate the layer, flip it and put it down in the water. Good news about this one is that it doesn't have to be as neat as before. It's going to be blurry because it's under the water anyway and you don't really tend to look at the reflection but if it's not there you notice it. So I wasn't too fussed about it, it was just a case of shaping it a little bit more as you can see there. And so from this point on the picture is pretty much done now. Um, just did a, a couple of tests so you could see uh, what that reflection looked like. But you can be honest with me in the comments. If you enjoyed this type of video, please do let me know. And if you really didn't, if you weren't that fussed and you're not bothered about seeing this kind of thing in the future, let me know and I'll know not to, uh, not to bother in the future. But a lot of people wanted to know how I made a sculpture and I thought it would be quite interesting to, to do and I just wanted an excuse to make a video, to be honest with you. So if you did enjoy it, let me know. And if not, no harm done. But yeah, that's the, the final product, the picture that we set out to make. And I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. I hope you like it.